Hey guys, Arashi here. Today, I have some wows for you. Uh, it's a uh, Twin Peaks, one of my favorite battlegrounds. To be honest, I had a battleground before this, but it was uh, Arathia Basin. And lately, I'm, I've just been having really big problems with um, battlegrounds such as Arathia Basin, Eye of the Storm, any ones that require more than 10 people to be in it because Alliance just isn't that great and I'd rather have a 10v10 than a 15v15 or a um, Ultraltric Valley and Isle of Conquest. It's, it's, it's a full raid, full raid thing. I, I can't remember the people off the top of my head. This is Twin Peaks on my amazing rep pal Yadin. Rashi. Uh, in this I just want to um, do my best to support Black Carrier capture the flag um, this is post commentary by the way it's not live sorry but yeah I got a new mic and I'm just I want to test it out and it's it'd be better for me to do it in post commentary so I can focus more on the match getting ready to put my oars on just gonna leave Crusader oar on so I can speed boost the other people on my team the battle begins Oh yeah, by the way, earlier I got my, uh, I don't know if I showed you, but I got my Dark Moon deck, finally. It's great. So yeah, I'm just uh, staying in the back so I can uh, give the rest of my team Crusader Aura. So we get down there quick enough. Up over here, I notice there's a Berserking, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to go blow some stuff up. So I'm going to go grab it right quick. Put it on. I'm going to stay in the back for a little bit, look for the lowest armor target, because that's a target I go for. I notice there's a Priest there. And then bang, straight for that priest. And Wrath, Avenging Wrath, pop my dude. Then with a 13, I believe 13k. Uh, Hammer of Wrath, Save Strike. Would love for those to be crits, there would have been a lot of it. Throw my hammer at him, hit him with a 14k normal. Pop Zealotry, and just, just unload. 14k normals. I need to crit more, guys. I want, I want more crit. Make the videos look a lot cooler. Now I'm just this massive dude walking down the middle of, uh, Twin Peaks. I noticed they got their flat our flag up there. So I'm gonna head up there. Try to get it. And then when as soon as I connect with this guy, what I fear comes happening towards me. I start lagging really bad. And this and this hasn't been happening when I'm recording for a long, long time. So right now I'm just trying to get close to him, heal myself in the process because like they're all hitting me right now and I and I, I'm just trying to get there. With all this lag, hammer of wrath, and free to myself, give him a bunch of hits, exorcism, I believe. And here's the yep, lag still happening. Say strike, finish him off. Flag back up. Even with all that lag, I was like, wow, how did I get that? And now I'm just trying to run from this warrior because I'm lagging super hard, and I just, I really can't, I really can't do a one v one with him yet. I know there's a paladin helping me up over there, but I still, I can't really see. And I think at this point the lag starts going away and I'm and I'm able to um get him down. Get feared. And he goes down. Sorry, uh the thing you should know about like Rep Paladins is uh they don't have a lot of attacking abilities, so you're pretty much just hitting what's off cooldown in, in terms of attacking abilities. You got Crusader Strike. Judgment. As soon as you get three Word of Glory, pro or not Word of Glory, Holy Power, Templar's Verdict, and then you got Exorcism procs, and then you can you have an option to use Holy Wrath. You don't have to. I use it as a part of my attacking thing, just because I get rid of the uh, I get rid of all my attacking moves just as quick. I noticed that that guy's alone up there, my our, our flag carrier. I'm gonna do all my best to help him. I could land hands him here, but I don't feel like he's gonna die. He's a prop paladin, so I just hammer him. Um, the shaman over there. Throw a, put my wings up, hit him with a two, uh, 29k hammer of wrath. Then I'm just gonna use my uh, holy powers to give him some uh, some healing right there. I know it's just this, uh, this prop warrior, so I hammer him. Exorcism. Throw my hammer at his face, 23k. See so shadow priest. He's gonna fear, anticipate the fear. I trick it immediately. Exorcism. Switch to a slow seal, and then I'm gonna. Petting that priest, 
hit that rogue to slow him down, and use a word of, uh, word of glory on him. Even though he's full health, might as well. I have the I have the procs for it. This uh, troll warrior is doing a really good job of trying to slow us from getting the cap. Um, I mean, at this point, he'll die even if he tries to attempt to grab the flag, but it's good because the, the rest of the team can catch up. We just take him down really quick. Going after this hunter just because, seriously, I hate hunters. But I noticed this priest is following me, and I'm going to have to get on him. Is that one disc priest? Empty strike, Tempest Verdict, Exorcism. If he fakes, uh, fake cast that. That flash heal, which is really good on him. Now I'm not gonna be able to interrupt his penance or anything. Exorcism, Tempest Verdict, Crusader Strike, the Hammer of Wrath, the finish him. I finished him with a Crusader Strike? Uh, I finished him with the Tempest Verdict. I got two Divine Purpose procs, that was amazing. That was complete skill on my part, making my procs uh, proc at the right time. Jump on this priest and a couple uh, little crits, nothing massive. Get on this hunter, get a little bit more lag. I don't know what to do to that. I mean, other than upgrading all my junk, it it hasn't been lagging the past few times I've recorded, you know, so I don't know, maybe it's just maybe it's just like some random thing that affects my recording. But I figure I just kill that spider with a ten K hammer wrath. That's really low, I think. Normally I hit a lot higher. Try to get these speed boots. They need to fix that whole speed boot glitch thingy. Notice there's a hunter there. I try to throw a hammer at him, but he finishes it off. I throw a word of glory, I believe, at him. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, starting now, I like, tend to throw word of glories everywhere since we're losing it, basically. I notice again that there's a guy pretty much alone up there. I'm going to go save him again. That's what you, that's like one of the main things when you're playing a, uh, capture the flag style battleground. You need, you need to help your flag carrier and you, you need to immediately get on the enemy flag carrier. It's like one of top priority when you're doing, uh, capture the flag. Just gonna clean up this warrior right here. Hit up this warrior here, you gonna slow on him. He charges the, he charges the flag carrier. Top his verdict, 35k. He's dead. Get on the holy priest, or the disc priest, sorry, because that's what you do, you go for the healers. And an important thing to note that there was a holy paladin and a disc priest right next to them. I'll talk about it later, but um, just keep that in mind for now. I'm just going to clean up the shadow priest. I believe he's under geared right now. I'm gonna just hammer this holy paladin and let the guys uh, get it. This freaking shadow priest is mind spiking me like crazy. He was hitting a lot. He was like hitting like 17k, 12k. I really wish the, uh, in hindsight, I really wish the warrior would interrupt that stuff, but can't be helped. Repentance this warrior right before he gets a charge on. I thought that was really great. Uh, I noticed there's a uh, hunter and a war. The warrior, and I know there's another guy on a mount back in the back. I'm on this warrior right here, and I uh, I have I have land hands. I'm not really scared at this moment. I get pretty low here, and then I get reinforcements right after I land hands. And I'm just gonna just blow up this warrior in terms of uh, making him forced to go uh, into his defensive cooldown. And I switch to this hunter. Now what this warrior does is really surprising to me. All these people around him, and he's and watch what he does. He's gonna stay on me. He's not gonna leap. Uh, if you're a melee class like me, you don't want to be hitting something that is going to be a lot more difficult for you to kill, such as a high armor target. If you notice back when I was talking about the Disc Priest and the Holy Paladin, I went right for the Disc Priest knowing that I won't be able to kill a Holy Paladin as fast as I can as a Disc Priest, just because the armor difference and all that stuff. So you need to you need to realize what you can and can't, your limitations. You're not like a caster that can pretty much hit anything and be fine. I need to know your uh, limitations in terms of what you can hit in a battleground setting. And uh and that's what I meant by the Disc Priest and Holy Paladin thing. And I was looking over and over, I was like, where the heck do they have flag? They actually got their flag all the way in the back and I didn't even realize it. I was too busy messing around in the front. 
which is a no-no in my book. You need to you need to focus on that stuff. But it's that holy pound, and I know they're gonna kill it, so I figured, hey, I'm just gonna go get the flag. And watch what I do when I uh, try to get this flag here. Sorry, I'm moving around a lot. There's a warrior there. I'm gonna repentance it immediately. I'm gonna turn around. I'm not gonna turn around, but I'm just gonna judgment it. It doesn't break the repentance, which is weird to me, but it's all right, I guess. A couple more seconds of him not doing anything. Hammer this uh, shaman here. I'm gonna hit him with my slow. Judgment again to get some speed. But then this warrior catches me. What I do is I don't even I don't even really mess with anybody unless I know I can kill them. When I'm carrying a flag, that's it. That is. Uh, there's a there's a paladin right there. I don't think he stops to hit me, which is weird. Uh, the shadow priest wants some. Gonna cleanse off his uh, thing. He's just gonna mind spike me. I'm gonna just uh, drink it out of those. Get slow and silent so I can't cleanse myself. I'm just gonna spam cleanse myself for the most part. All these guys on me. My team's really really good in this. I was really uh, I was really pleased with my group. Got three uh, holy uh, holy power stacks. Gonna just use it for word of glories. Even though I'm full health, I don't really need to. Another tip that I mentioned in the Warstone Gulch video is just judgment anything that's like 15 feet, I believe, from you. Get that speed boost. See the spider? I just target it. Judgment. Always great. Um, heading up to the uh, end here. Climbing up the ramp here. Switch auras. Thinking I uh, had that Crusader on the whole time, but I uh, didn't. I just switched up. Just going to have a nice, peaceful cap in our base. Ching. And then here's the score. I'll stop damage. Killing blows ten. Healing done. I don't heal. Flag captures one. Flag returns one. Honor gained 119. So that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.